about selling, selling, selling. I call it the Thai Lopez e-commerce. What is up my fam squad? I'm here with the entrepreneur manure. For today's video, I wanted to insert one of our projects we recorded over this weekend about our eight e-commerce predictions because it was a good video. So I thought I would share it with my channel. And for everyone that's like, what is Jay talking about? What is this marketing nonsense? I don't even know what you do. This might be really confusing. So you might want to check out the podcast version, which I'll link below. Uh, what do you have to say about that? Um, boring. I'm not waking up yet. It's scary, guys. Wake up. Technology is moving fast. Sam's Club is closing down. Walmart's getting the, the pressure. We are moving to... Ca uh, We're just really IT technology savvy. So, watch out. I hope you guys enjoy. We have Mr. Leon Ye. Today, we are talking about the eight bold predictions in regards to e-commerce and selling products. So, we have here Leon, and we're going to ask him a few questions, and I'm super excited to have him. How are you, Leon? I am awesome. All right. Do you want to give the viewers a little context of who you are, what you do? Yes, I'm an um, attention hustler. Um, I work basically monetize cust um, audience attention and convert those things in and monetize it into dollars and success. Wow. Okay. <laughs> since, since this is a New Year's 2018, um, I thought that it would be nice to start do a predict prediction. Yes. Yes. Um, and then, since I'm in an e-commerce business, and again, e-commerce is about attention monetization, and and it boils down to how do you take a new customer or existing customer attention and convert those things in a sales journey and sales process. In a way, um, it's actually as a massive change in the industry as usual. Typically, industry e-commerce industry is all about sell, sell, sales. In 2018, things has considerably changed, and I want to kind of discuss those things in my prediction, and and hopefully it's kind of show you what the trend and and for you to be able to uh, take advantage of it. All right, we're super excited to jump in here. Hey guys, remember if you like this video to like this video right now and subscribe, and we'll continue this series. And if you can comment out any questions below, we'll get to it as soon as possible. So, sorry. Sorry. So. Amazon Go. Right. The first Tell thing me more. We're gonna see is when I say e-commerce brand, it's actually a regular brand. Uh, typically, in a in a in a past, a brand usually have multi channels, but their primary channels is selling over in a mall and 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 what we call it distributors. Um, you know, they sell it through stores, they through, sell it to WalMarts, independent stores, and malls and so forth. So in 2018, the first step, the first first the switch to self-services. Mm -hmm. And and I'm when I say self-services, it's more like not what you think it is, like going take your off groceries into a, a self-checkout, but beyond that. And this is kind of punctuated by uh, the concept called Amazon Go. You come to the store, take anything you, not anything you want, but take things that you want and, and, and automatically tracked uh, we, you don't need to check out, you put in a purse and just leave. So do you think, as a prediction wise, I mean we just saw Starbucks actually just launched Scan and Go, however people still pour coffee. Do you think it's going to happen to every single retail? I think it's going to happen to Whole Foods, first of all. There, that's the reason why Amazon bought Whole Foods. I think that's going to be what you're going to see in the next one, two years. You will see the Amago, Amazon Go concept, it's going to be applied to Whole Foods. Everything. Pretty much. I mean, so customer like the speed, customer like the uh, ease of use. And Im imagine if you go to a store, you don't even have to bring your wallet. Y your phone is your, um, is your wallet. And you don't even have to check out. Um, if you have an NX, uh, Amazon Prime, it automatically deducts from your credit card. That's awesome. So prediction number two. Number two is what we're going to see, the death of mall. And, and then mall is becoming um, rapidly closing down. It's like, art, it's like an art museum now. <laughs> yes, and the reason why is it's not like people doesn't like to go to the mall. The reason like is that mall used to be the, the point of entrance in the pa path to purchase. So for example, for those who you guys that you know lived 20 years ago, um, a little bit older like me, um, typically when we go to malls, we start doing our research with an invention of social media, you know, social proof, 
and all of those uh, Facebook um, uh, awareness ads and, and so forth, all of those things have gone digital. So the mall become less of less becoming um, a, a, a starting point of a customer journey and it's more and more uh, as place just to purchase and because of it it become less less relevant all retail has to go to um, work a lot more on their own direct sales um, typically brand usually don't do their own marketing they usually rely on stores to do marketing for them so if they distribute in walmart or uh, target target typically doing the the marketing for them so as retail become less less uh, hierarchical and more direct retail has to be able to you know be able to uh, sell direct and this is great for people like doing in social media influencer marketing because those re those digital mark those digital brand is start looking more and more into you guys as the pl place to get their um, the customers as a starting journey for their customer to purchase their brand and get to know their brand. What is this next e-commerce? So yeah, so we have we are in the process of becoming e-commerce 2.0. The e-commerce way to to sell it differently. So give me let me give me an example. Um, as Amazon Echo Alexa and and all of this self awareness happening is that uh, when you do. Uh, marketing, you're not actually sent to sell to human being anymore. What? You sell it to the Alexa. Because if you not appear on Alexa, you don't appear anywhere. You don't appear anywhere. And Alexa is getting more machine learning as you speak. So I call it machine to machine purchase. Instead, it used to be um, human to human, you're becoming, you have to actually sell to their machine learning to be able to promote your. Uh, product. So you think that NX e-commerce is no longer uh, is no longer B two C? It's like B two robot. It's like I would say machine to machine. M to M. What? <laughs> yeah, it's not the wrapper, but the, not the M and M. On to the fifth one. Mobile commerce is voice based. So you think that? Tell me more about that. So Alexa is your agent. If if you're in, in a business of showbiz, you have your own agent. An agent means a people that you empower to represent you. So it's a representation of um, uh, commerce. So currently we have Alexa, we have Siri, soon we have um